Hi and welcome to another episode of uh, Made in India Guns. Today I'm going to talk about the Indian Army's carbine requirement. Sometime in 2006, the Indian Army decided it wanted to replace its World War II era uh, 9mm carbines. It started off a very interesting contest between the Ordnance Factory Board on one hand and the DRDO on the other. And both uh, of these institutions began uh, this contest with their own weapons. This is probably the first time that this happened. Cartridge that they actually uh, settled upon was the 5.56 into 30 round. It's a very unusual round because uh, there are no weapons in the world currently that we know of that fire this round. This is what it looks like, the 5.56 into 30 round. The Ordnance Factory Board claims that this is the smallest 5.56 uh, cartridge in production and uh, they could be correct, though technically this would mean that the weapon that would fire this would be actually a personal defense weapon rather than a carbine. Now, a personal defense weapon is something that comes between a pistol and a carbine. It fires a smaller, shorter cartridge like this one. Uh, there have been attempts in the past to introduce, uh, you know, a 5.56 into 30 round. In 1997, Colt Defense brought out the MARS, uh, MARS, the Mini Assault Rifle System, that was to fire this particular cartridge. Uh, MARS never entered production. And today I have in my hands here the Ordnance Factory Board produced Amog Carbine. This is the carbine that the Ordnance Factory Board produced to fire the 5.56 into 30 round. And this looks very similar to the INSAS uh, assault rifle. In fact, I'm calling it the son of INSAS. Uh, and if you look at it, uh, it has all the features of an INSAS rifle. Uh, black plastic furniture. Most of it is, uh, uses black shockproof plastic. Uh, the INSAS, very similar to the INSAS. And, uh, it has a 30 round box magazine. As you can see, this is the magazine release switch. There it is. It's empty. It's a polymer magazine, just like the INSAS magazine. I'm going to put it right back in. There you go. It's got a charging handle. There's safety and a three round burst. Collapsible stock here, which folds around like this, leaves the trigger finger uh, free to fire. This is what it looks like. Stamped metal uh, receiver on the top here with a Picatinny rail to fit your sights. Uh, there's a foresight here, the front iron sights. Rear sight with a aperture here for aiming. It's a 13 inch chrome plated barrel, uh, much shorter than the INSAS. And the reason for this uh, firing uh, the 5.56 into 30 cartridge that I showed you earlier was that uh, the problems that the Ordnance Factory Board faced with a shorter barrel firing the INSAS round, which is why they had to go in for the smaller 5.56 into 30 round. Now, uh, uh, the other features are it's pretty comfortable to hold. As you can see here, it's got a plastic uh, grip uh, shape to hold your fingers. Sits in your hands, nice and easy, easy to aim. The AMOG didn't win the contest for the Army's uh, carbine requirement. Uh, the DRDO's MSMC did. But the AMOG today is in limited series production. It is with the users, whereas the DRDO's MSMC is still in trials. But that's a story for another issue, another episode maybe. Thank you for watching.